Project Muhan's Samsung's XR headset is rumored to be breaking cover very soon. So let's break down what we know so you're ready for that upcoming announcement. Project Muhan is the development name for Samsung's first Android XR headset, but we assume it'll get a more consumer name when it launches. Kind of like how Meta renamed Project Cambria as the Quest Pro when that eventually released. The headset will run on Google's brand new operating system, a version of Android built specifically for XR headsets and glasses, which leverages Google Gemini to achieve many of the features we've been shown so far in demos, which includes identifying both real and virtual objects, exploring locations in Google Earth, or researching topics across multiple Google services at once. We know it will also run on the Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen 2 chipset. Now, that announcement came a while ago from Qualcomm, around the start of 2024, so I wouldn't be completely surprised if Samsung and Qualcomm decided to outfit this thing with something a little bit newer. Though a leaked benchmark for Muhan from this year suggests that Gen 2 XR2 Plus is still in use, alongside a solid 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's double the Meta Quest 3's 8 gigabytes and the same as what the Apple Vision Pro delivers. It should also boast high-end micro OLED displays from Samsung Display, of course, with a screen resolution of around 3,800 pixels per inch. As with all leaks, this hasn't been officially confirmed, but the Vision Pro, which Samsung looks to be targeting, offers a display of around 3,400 pixels per inch, so this leaked figure isn't completely outside the realm of possibility. Sticking with the Vision Pro comparisons, Samsung is also apparently set to launch Muhan with an external battery pack. So rather than the battery being one on your head with the other components, it will slip into your pocket to save weight which shouldn't only cut the weight of the device considerably, it should hopefully make it a little bit more comfortable to wear than a bulky VR headset is normally. As you might expect from what's shaping up to be a more premium product, Samsung's headset has a high rumored price of between 2.5 and 4 million won, which is a starting price of around $1,800. If this proves true, that would sandwich Muhan comfortably between the Meta Quest 3 and the Apple Vision Pro price-wise, which is no bad spot to be in if Samsung can stick the landing with this headset. Okay, so enough about the hardware leaks. When might we find out if Muhan will stick the landing or not? Well, if the rumors are true, we should see it very, very soon. The latest leaks from industry insiders claiming knowledge about the launch point to an October 22nd release date for Muhan, though that might only be for folks that live in South Korea and possibly some neighboring countries. This kind of slower global rollout isn't completely unheard of. Samsung has previously debuted South Korea exclusive tech, like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 SE, and other companies are known to roll out hardware steadily, usually with a launch at home first. Case in point, the Meta Ray-Ban display glasses are debuting in the US first. You can actually go out and buy the glasses right now at select stores, but they won't be arriving elsewhere until 2026 at the earliest. As for what we don't know yet about Project Muhan, for me, the most important thing that's still up in the air is what kind of software support this headset will have. Yes, okay, we know it'll run on Android XR, but beyond a few basic overarching promises and a handful of limited demos, no one has really got a proper taste for what Android XR means in terms of apps and other software. And a well-supported operating system can make or break a VR system. Take the Apple Vision Pro. From a hardware perspective, that thing is a beast, with chipsets putting on par with Apple's laptops, leagues ahead of its mobile computing chip-powered rivals. At least, it does in theory. In practice, the Apple Vision Pro has disappointed users time and again because it doesn't have those key apps to justify its price and power. Yes, it can do a handful of neat things, but nothing seriously of note that the much cheaper MetaQuest 3 can't also achieve. I thought it might even be able to run some Mac apps, for example, but only if you also have an Apple computer to hook it up to, which is something of a shame when it's got so much power under the hood. The Quest 3, on the other hand, it has a large suite of exclusive apps and games, which help it to fend off all sorts of rivals, 
even more similarly priced yet better spec hardware like the Pico 4 Ultra can't compete because Meta's Horizon OS boasts such excellent exclusive software that me recommending anything other than a Quest 3 would be doing you a disservice. Project Muhan will live or die based on how useful its software ends up being. If it gives us a reason to put it on every day, that's the mark of success. Anything less may make it a tough sell if it does end up costing as much as is rumoured. So in terms of what this would look like in practice, I want to see a mixture of VR games, entertainment apps for a big screen experience, maybe even some 3D content, which is currently kind of hard to come by in VR and XR in general. And for what seems to be a pro level device, several useful productivity apps could also be quite fun. I already use Google Suite every day for work, and I wouldn't mind repeating my experiment from several years ago where I worked in VR for a week. Maybe Muhan's experience will be better than the Quest Pro's. In that vein, I'm also hoping Muhan will be really comfortable. I've heard good things from people who've tried it, like several members of our team, but short demos can only reveal so much about how comfy, or not as the case may end up being, a VR headset really is. Now hopefully I won't be waiting too long to find answers to all these questions and to verify if all the leaks are true about Project Muhan. When Samsung is finally ready to unveil the consumer version of its XR headset, Set, you can be sure we'll let you know over here on YouTube and on techradar.com. We'll see you then.